What's going on everybody? So today we're going to be going over the crib light paper. Um, I did one of these videos a couple days ago, but the devs recently released another one. So I kind of wanted to update you on what their light paper is looking like now. And um, it is a little bit different. So that's why I did want to go over it because it seems like they've removed some things, kind of changed some things, added some things to it. And uh, I think it's important for the community all to have a good understanding of what they're doing and what their plans are so yeah let's get into it so they are called crib they call themselves a social wallet their light paper this is their newest version as of february 1st now the company purpose is to make it easier for cryptocurrency founders to educate onboard and provide a pleasurable experience for the 99 percent of the world that has not invested in cryptocurrency the problem we're seeing in the cryptocurrency space is most cryptocurrency founders manage their community and business through Telegram. Telegram was not built as a project manager plat or a project management platform. Therefore, cryptocurrency find founders find themselves stressed from how much work it is to manage the community they work so hard to build. More importantly, it is impossible for the noobs or new people, which is the 99% who have not invested in cryptocurrency to understand what is going on, what to do, and avoid being spammed or scammed. Now, this is actually a massive issue that's happening right now in the crypto space. A lot of new cryptocurrencies, projects, um, development groups are all being launched on Telegram. Now, the issue with Telegram, I can actually show you really quick. Let me launch this. Is that let's look at just for example well this is an announcement for example we'll look at minty swaps um, now this isn't anything bad against minty swap I'm literally just using them as an example to show you what the issue with telegram with using telegram or project is so everybody in the community is all talking there's as you can tell there's a lot of people in this chat there's 18,076 members now just imagine you have 18,000 people in your group chat and you're trying to get important information across luckily telegram does imply this um pin post thing so it is easier for the devs to kind of be like hey these are the messages we really want you guys to see so you can click on these and go through them but now when you have just that option just the pin message a lot of people kind of just scroll through or they get annoyed that there's so much going on there's that 18,000 people are communicating all at once in this chat. So what Crib is doing to solve that is this. This is what they say their solution is. There's a fortune to make off cryptocurrency if you are well educated. 99% of the world is hesitant to take advantage of this gold rush. Our mission is to give the 99% of the world not invested in crypto the tools, best practices, and knowledge they need to be a successful cryptocurrency investor. Educate the world on how easy it is it can be to invest in crypto make cryptocurrency founders lives easier and make a difference in the world so what this means is or what they're doing is they're creating an application where they're taking all the utility of telegram they're taking all the utility of discord they're taking all the utility of instagram all the utility of twitter all and we'll get into what else they're going to be getting into but they're making one platform where developers and project managers can come in they can put everything into one place on their page and then they can also start these communities like they have on telegram and everybody can go in there and check and look and see what's going on they can communicate with uh, all of the members that are in that coins community and then they can also have a place where they can go where they can find you know the website for the coin or they can find the telegram for the coin or the discord or they can have all their links what you know their light papers all right there their white papers are right there so it's uh almost revolutionary to the cryptocurrency space um so why now we are in a unique position currently we have 17,000 users ready to go for our beta launch with another hundred thousand users ready to onboard as well the hardest part and the value of any startup in the app space is users and user acquisition costs, which they're saying that they have both very quickly. Um, so just kind of explain that is what they're saying is 
Developers have a hard time when they release an application it, getting it out to the community. Um, they need people to test it, find these bugs, and then they'll receive all the feedback and after they receive their feedback, they can go back into their code, redevelop some portions of the application and make it better for the community and kind of give the community what they want in a seamless application um, that they've created. And uh, then the other thing with that is, is the acquisition costs. So people aren't just gonna test the app out for free, you know, people aren't, you have to get the word out to people to be able to test it. So user acquisition costs can be things like marketing, you know, um, there, a lot of new applications, like, you know, you have this, someone like me just sitting at their desk explaining things or whatever, or they're getting into software development, they want to release this application. Well, who can they tell their friends? Do they have to do word of mouth? It's going to take a very long time for that to grow. Um, so they're going to have to move into some sort of marketing and this costs money. And Crib is saying that that's not an issue for us. We have 17,000 people ready to go for the beta launch, all to test out the app so we can find those bugs. And then they say they have another 100,000 users ready to onboard as well once they get all of those things kicked, all the kinks taken out. Um, and then they also say that money's not an issue for them. Um, we'll get into the devs, but I, I think that all three of the people that they have listed in this light paper uh, are very successful people and will put as much money as they can uh, into the project to make sure that everything goes well. Moving on, they're talking, they're saying cryptocurrencies are exploding. The best to time to invest was five years ago, and the next best time is now. About $5.7 billion worth of new money is invested in and is invested into everyday cryptocurrencies. We created crib.com to make it simple for anyone to do their own research without getting scammed, spammed, or read misinformation. Uh, I'm gonna skip over the market size. Let's get into the product. So everything our users are used to with Telegram, voice chat, live chat, document management, photo sharing, tagging, notifications, and much more will be put into this. They'll have blockchain technology, hot and cold wallets to store and purchase tokens, coin tickers, coin staking, and live NFT displays on user profiles. So not only do you have this platform where um, project managers can come in and create their communities, uh, users like me and you will be able to come in, look at this and say, hey, these are the cryptocurrencies I'm looking at. I can join voice chats, I can join communities, um, I can share documents. They're saying that I can host live NFT displays on my profile, so you can come to my profile and see what NFTs I'm hosting. And I can also store my cryptocurrency here. I can purchase tokens. I have a hot wallet and a cold wallet, which if you don't know what those are, uh, I would definitely do some research, but basic, a cold wallet is a storage device that is offline and a hot wallet is something that is online. Um, I can look at coin tickers, I can stake on here. They're saying we can do all of this right here, which is amazing. Uh, and then they have their crypto education corner. All of the latest blogs, updates, video tutorials, expert interviews, beginner Q&A, the best practices to develop the knowledge needed in the crypto world. So with everything we just said, now we have a place where we can also learn about cryptocurrency, understand what's going on. They said they have the latest blogs and updates, so we'll be able to know the news that's going on. It's, is the U.S. government going to ban crypto? You know, we'll be able to figure out all these things inside of there. That wasn't fun. That's just a headline I see today on YouTube. Um, let's discuss their business middle now. So we talked about the beta test 15K users with our MVP. They're going to refine the app and go to market and onboard 85,000 additional users. 2 to 5% transaction fees on crypto purchases, which is pretty standard. Crib card transaction fees and staking rewards. Um, in my very first video, we talked about the crib card. I think they might be revising some of that, so they removed it from this light paper. But at the same time, they are mentioning it here. So crib card transaction fees and staking rewards. They're going to be receiving revenue from banks, coin marketing services for featured blogs. Uh, they want to grow their user base to a million active users, promote trending tokens to generate ad revenue, retargeting those ad dollars, and then launch crib.com loyalty program uh, scroll down a little bit so if we look at their tokenomics they have a billion total supply with a five percent tax 2.5 percent towards the crib foundation and 2.5 percent towards the staking rewards during their private sale 
which happened a couple weeks ago. They did a 0 .2, 0 .02, so a two cent price, and they raised $2 million through this, um, which their total supply that they released was 10% of the total so supply, 100 million tokens. Their pre-sale, which is active right now, um, their price is 10 cent. This is 6.6, .6, or this is 6.6 percent of the total supply, 66 million coins. Um, they want to do the minty swap liquidity IDO, which will be 5.4 percent of the total supply. Decentralization event, 51 percent. Market ma market maker, 2 percent. Marketing, 5 percent. Protocol incentives, 2 percent. Rewards, 5 percent. Team, 10 percent. Advisors and strategic, 3 percent. Let's go down. Let's look at their extra social components. Within CRID, users will have the option to stay anonymous or not. So, like, if I was to go comment on your thing, I can say want. I can select if I want to make sure you know who I am or make sure you don't know who I am. Users can change this inf information in the privacy settings at any time. Users can display their NFT collection as well as their favorite coins on their profile. So that's what I was talking about, kind of like that Instagram thing. You can come to my profile. You can see my favorite coins. You can see my favorite NFTs, kind of what I'm looking at. Uh, we can add stories to our profile, similar to WhatsApp, Instagram, and Facebook, which is really cool because you can start to follow these um, crypto whales, these people with a lot of money, and you can start to see, follow the money. You know, you start to follow the money. What are, what are we moving into at this point in time? And then users can also allow followers to, or users can also follow other users to add them as friends if they choose. Now, when we look at the business side of the app, tokens or businesses will have the ability to add permanent information on their groups within Crypt Social App. So this is what I was talking about earlier. We can now go to that tokens page on Crib and say, okay, what's a contract? How do I buy this? Where do I buy this? What's the website? Who's the developer? Where's the white paper? Where's the light paper? All these questions that you're constantly having to ask in uh, Telegram, you can now say, hey, look, we have Crib. We can go here. We can get all of it. It's all in one place for us, easy to find. We know that it was released by the, dev by the devs of the token and um, not just some random person that made a fake account and is releasing false information. Token creators or communities will be able to add replies to all these questions for easy access to all users. Uh, we can talk about their person-to-person, -person, Crib's person-to-person -person, person -person payment protocol will let users send and receive crypto for invoices, receipts, requests, and requests sent to users' wallets. This will allow a business, a friend, or stranger reimburse, pay, and receive payments with cryptocurrency in an easy invoicing payment process. Not only are we able to learn about crypto, not only are we able to purchase tokens, we're also able to sell our, or send our tokens to other people and receive tokens. So you ever run into a predicament where you're like, hey, I did this for you, and instead of receiving cash, I would like to receive Ethereum. Well, now we have to download Coinbase or all these different other apps, and then we have to purchase whatever. Well, if you already have a purchase right here on Crib and you're both users on Crib, you can send and receive to each other right in the app. Then we move on to their POS integration, which I think is absolutely amazing. I don't see a lot of projects doing this, and uh, it's something that probably is going to revolutionize the industry. Crib's POS system will act as a plug-in for existing POS systems. So a POS system is like um, when you go to the gas station, you take your card out, that little machine that you put your card into, that's your POS system. Um, so let me reread that. Cribs POS system will act as a plug-in for existing POS systems on the marketplace. This POS system will allow customers to pay with and merchants to receive cryptocurrencies they choose to receive at their businesses. So let's say you go to a gas station. That gas station has the Crib POS system and they're like, hey, we accept Bit Bitcoin. Well, if you have a Coinbase card or the Crib card or whatever kind of card you have that has Bitcoin on it, you can put your card in there and then the company will receive Bitcoin and you can pay with Bitcoin. Um, where were we? Customers will have the option to receive their payments in cryptocurrency or have them or have them transition immediately into fiat for their convenience, which is great. Cribs payment service will target ATM providers, POS providers, and internet payment pro providers. Cribs main goal in phase three of our operation will be to make the world have an 
easy access to crypto education, spend crypto, and use crypto in their everyday life. Crypt's transaction fees will be similar to the transaction fees seen in today mar today's market. Merchants will be able to provide cryptocurrencies as a payment option with a click of a button in an easy, effective, and fast way to transact. So let's look at this. So this is a comparison they're saying for Telegram versus Crypt. So Telegram's got the large community, easy chat functions, open to any topics. That's it. Now when we look at Crib, Crib has a large community, easy chat functions, open to any public, but they also have bot protection. Um, I'm going to explain, explain this a little bit because a lot of people are creating these bots that they can put into a Telegram that will, let's say, message somebody and say, hey, you've won 8,000 Crib tokens great what do i have to do to get them send us your wallet address or send us five hundred dollars in ethereum and we'll send you the eight thousand crib it's a scam but a lot of people fall for it crib will have that in their app where these bots aren't joining the communities they'll have that protection they'll have that software in place to say hey this is a bot this is a human i'll let this one in i'll let this one not in um, it's completely crypto focused, whereas Telegram is community based and anybody can go in there and start a chat. Uh, Crib is completely crypto focused. So this way you don't just have people just jumping into chats. You know, people are coming here strictly for crypto and you'll be able to keep all of your crypto information in one place. Easy user education, like they talked about, they have the education corner. Uh, it's coin manager friendly. Built-in wallet for in-chat buys. They have active 24-7 support. They have the N NFT profile display capabilities. We also talked about that earlier. Easy organization tab for all coins and communities. You'll be able to sort out, hey, I like looking at micro cap coins, or hey, I like looking at our major coins like Bitcoin and Ethereum, or I'm looking at the top 100 like Solana and Gala and all these different things. Um, so you'll be able to keep all of that organized for yourself. Built-in coin chart for chat. They have their own native token, which is the crib token, like we were talking about earlier with their tokenomics. Um, their pre-sale is live right now at 10 cents. And then they have their peer-to-peer -peer business payment protocols and easy in-app swap. Um, so Minty Swap is another great coin. I'm not going to go into that because it's a crib focused video, but Minty Swap is a cross-chain DEX, cross-chain swap where you can swap things swap coins for like ethereum you can swap coins for bnb um so they'll have that built into the app which is awesome because now we can buy our coins and swap them for our level twos right inside the app so getting into their team they have brad he's a serial investor consultant and advisor he had his first exit at the age of 23 quinn He's an early crypto investor. He's a CEO of Capital Q Wealth and Payment Solutions. And then we have Lathe. He's an early, early crypto investor and the CEO of MintySwap, which is that swap platform we just talked about. All right, let's look at their roadmap. So they started out in 2021. Uh, in Q3, they paid or they bought their crib.com. Um, what's that called? I can't think of the word, so I'm just going to keep going. But they bought crib.com. Um, and they had the development of crib concepts and legal entities in Q4 in 2021. They had their initial private sale raise of $2 million. They had their development start of crib social features and wallet security. They got into their website development and word of mouth marketing. They also had their logo created and brand identity complete. Right now we are in 2022, right at the start of uh, Q1. So they have their crib pre-sale raise starts to fill $6.6 .6 million. Um, so that's what's going on. You can purchase a coin for 10 cents. If you just go right to their web website, it's very simple on how to buy it. Uh, I'll release a video for that as well. Um, but their goal is to raise that $6.6 .6 .6 million. Uh, they'll have their initial alpha launch of crib social wallet app on Apple and Android and web platforms. They are developing for the metaverse. Uh, consistent construction and development of beta crib launch so you'll have the alpha the beta and then you'll have the full market release and then you have their staking protocol launch which is 42 percent apy that means if you take a thousand dollars of crib and you stake it you will pay be paid 420 dollars on that investment at the end of the year or 
you know, based on the fluctuation, but roughly somewhere around there. What? That's insane. That is almost unheard of in the cryptocurrency market um, for something as legit as crib to do a 42% staking protocol. Uh, so I will be staking all of my crib. What happens, I'll just explain this now. Um, so the way their uh, staking protocol is going to work, you purchase your crib, you go through their staking section, which I'm sure it'll just be connect your wallet. It'll say, would you like to stake your crib? You say, yes. How much would you like to stake? You could stake all of it, or you can select a portion. Once you stake it, it'll go into this little wallet over here. You will not be able to sell it for 365 days, but you will be receiving their rewards every second. So the way they're they're rewarding every second, adding up to 42% at the end of the year, and those rewards will be, be will be able to be claimed every second as well. So if you get halfway through the year and you want to claim your rewards, that's fine. You just cannot take your initial thousand one thousand dollars out until 365 days, uh, and then they want to go live on the mainnet. Then Q2 for 2022, um, we're gonna have the first look at the crib metaverse, which is new to me. I haven't really heard much about this metaverse for Crib, but super excited for that. Um, Crib beta launched and fully fledged token tracking live on all platforms, which is awesome. Crib educational platform filled with enough content to educate the average crypto investor. So um, I don't know how many of you are Forex traders, but a lot of Forex traders, they all go to babypips.com um, for general education. Like this is enough to get you started in the Forex market. And that's what Crib's kind of going to be releasing in their educational platform. It's enough content to educate the average crypto investor. And then they have their Crib educational rewards announced and implemented. Then Q3, uh, their first raise and sale of Crib Metaverse Islands and NFTs. First in-game design look of Crib Metaverse and announcement of Metaverse partnership. That's great. Crib Development Fund makes first allocations towards communities. Implementation of peer-to-peer -peer and business-to-business -business payment solutions. Q4, Crib Metaverse continuous development and partnership announcements. Full-fledged social app finish on all platforms with blog bugs worked out. 5 million users. Oh, they missed a zero. Oh, 5 million users user allocations. Initial look at the Crib card. And then Q1, Q2 of 2023. They had the Crib Metaverse launch, continuous educational content being developed. Crib development funds continue to make contributions to development of Crib Metaverse and future products. And then the preliminary launch of Crib Card and Crib POS system. So that's it for Crib. Um, if you want some more information on them, you can go to, oh, I hate when I do that, Telegram. Go to, if you want to join, it's t.me slash crib token that'll take you into their crib uh telegram until the application is launched and then crib announcements go here is t.me slash crib announcements um if you come here you'll be able to see all of their information all of their updates on what's going on um actually you know i do have some stuff in here if you kind of want to see what they're looking like the app will look like inside so you can see you can have this crib uh what's it called a widget on your phone you have the widgets on iphone now so this is kind of showing what the widget looks like here's their social media um scroll up a little bit i think this is just a little animation so it's pretty cool um that they're i'm not even gonna let this load that they have these uh they have a good um design team for their application and for their marketing i really like what they're doing uh damon johns the shark he is now an investor in crib and this is what he posted on his social media he said i've always been about building followings and communities excited to see how cribcom makes this better and easier so damon johns is a investor in this we can i'll start right here and i'll just go through so these are just the pictures they've released of what the application will look like inside so you can see you have your wallet um this is kind of what the this is like their discover section where you can find some of the education. You can probably look up people here. That's more of your wallet, what it's gonna look like. You can see they have the NFTs there. This is the learning section. So it's their educational corner. You can see they have the cryptocurrency on here. 
These are their communities that you can join. I'm sure this will be different. These are just examples. Um, so overall, I mean, the app looks good. I like the way that the app is looking from what I can see from these couple of pictures here. And yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm going to go back here. I appreciate everybody for checking in. Um, this is not a sponsored thing. Crib is not paying me to do this and I guess hype them up like this. I really just enjoy this project. I'm excited to see what they do. Uh, it's one of our pinks and our picks in our Jinx community. Um, so if you haven't already, join the Jinx community. You can find the link in my Instagram bio on Discord. Uh, soon, hopefully, we'll be moving into Crib. But uh, yeah, we're very excited for this. Go follow their Instagram. It is just Cribcom, C-R-Y-B-C-O-M. Um, they're a great project. And uh, yeah, I hope this was very informational.